एग फ्रीजिंग इज अ मेथड और प्रोसीजर विच इज क्वाइट इन न्यूज एंड ऑल्सो पॉपुलर एंड वी ऑल्सो डू अबाउट टू और थ्री एग फ्रीजिंग साइकिल ईच मंथ वॉट इज एग फ्रीजिंग एग फ्रीजिंग इज अ प्रोसीजर विच हेल्प्स वुमेन फ्रीज देयर एग्स इनडेफिनेटली now why would women want to do that that's the next question unlike embryo freezing see in an ivf when we freeze embryos we are freezing a product of egg and sperm which means once the egg and the sperm meet and then start dividing see one thing is that we need to understand biology how does an embryo develop for a good embryo to develop a healthy egg a healthy sperm is needed and once they get fertilized the egg starts dividing one cell becomes two cell and then four cell eight cell so it undergoes exponential division until it becomes a 100 to 150 cell blastocyst that is called as an embryo now we can't go back to an egg once an embryo is developed so for an embryo development a good sperm is also needed so if suppose women are not sure of getting into pregnancy not sure of who their partner is or haven't found the right partner in such situation women can consider egg freezing now why do we have to freeze eggs this is because our age has immense effect on the egg quality and quantity and because with the advancing age we lose not only quantity but also the quality of the oocytes it's important that we freeze the eggs at the right age we can categorize the indications for egg freezing into medical reasons and social reasons in medical reasons we have cancer afflicted women women who might be suffering from any form of cancer wherein there is a need for surgery which might affect reproductive organs or there might be need for chemotherapy or radiotherapy in them egg freezing is a very vital procedure that can help them preserve their fertility now coming to history of early menopause say if there is a genetic trend in the family that you know mother has attained early menopause or you know maternal aunts have attained early menopause or a sibling has attained early menopause in such situations also women should consider freezing their eggs at an early age so that they can use it even if they undergo menopause at an early age now coming next to autoimmune disorders many of the autoimmune disorders can be associated with premature ovarian failure they should definitely consider checking their fertility potential and if there is a declining trend to consider egg freezing last but not the least if there is a surgery that is needed that might affect the ovaries or the uterus or the reproductive organs in such situation also egg freezing can be considered prior to venturing into the surgery now coming to social reasons yes one of the most important reason is when lady hasn't found the right partner yet so if a person hasn't found the right partner even in their early or late 30s it's important that they should consider egg freezing because eventually when they find the partner there should be an option of venturing into a family or having a conception at that point in time of course if there is is no emotional or physical or even financial readiness to venture into a pregnancy even by mid 30s such women can consider going ahead with egg freezing and last but not the least if women are extremely career oriented or they have personal ambitions which prevent them from getting pregnant within their early 30s then they can consider going ahead with egg freezing women and has a girl child we are all born with highest number of eggs at birth that's the highest that we can have which is around 1 to 2 million in total and once girl child attained puberty which is maybe somewhere between 10 to 15 years of age that is when about 3 to 4 lakh eggs is the number that she has and these eggs have a consistent reduction month on month so every month there is a destruction of almost 100 eggs to produce one good egg which releases so with advancing age there is a decline in fertility or rather the reserve now the peak fertility is between 20 to 30 years of age when the egg quality is good the quantity is also appropriate after 30 there is a reduction in the egg number and after 35 there is an accelerated loss of eggs so considering all these factors in mind the best time to freeze the eggs is in the late 20s or the early 30s however even at 35 a lady might consider going ahead with egg freezing but she might want to freeze more number of eggs to keep her chances in a good way however one needs to remember beyond 38 of years of age the chances of having a healthy pregnancy with each frozen eggs diminish significantly so it may not be that fruitful to go ahead with egg freezing but however you can never say never with these procedures so if somebody is extremely keen to freeze and whatever little chances they have with those eggs they can consider going ahead with egg freezing
So if we have to discuss the egg freezing process step by step, how does it go at the first initial consultation that a woman may have with the doctor, the initial investigations would require the general investigations to see if she's fit, her regular hemoglobin, sugar, thyroid, her reproductive hormone testing, which is serum AMH, and an ultrasound to see if ovaries are apt, if there are good number of eggs, whether we can go ahead with the adequate number of eggs to be frozen in single cycle itself. Once these tests are done, if there are any corrections that need to be done, the doctor might suggest to go ahead with corrective medications and then plan for the egg freezing cycle in the subsequent month. Most often, the treatment starts on the day one or two of the cycle, which will entail some injections. These injections are to make sure that all the eggs in both the ovaries continue to grow and become mature. At the end of about 8 to 10 days, the follicles become ripe or mature. That is when a final trigger shot is given. And 36 hours from there, there's a procedure called as ovum pickup or oocyte pickup. Now this ovum pickup procedure happens under mild anesthesia because it's a needle based procedure. There are no scars on the tummy. The anesthesia is also a transient one wherein the lady might be up and about in a couple of hours. The procedure of egg pickup itself hardly takes about 10 to 15 minutes but however the recovery from the anesthesia might take a couple of hours and the person should be able to get back to work and be as normal as anybody with the very next day. The law of the land will dictate it most often. In countries like US and UK, the eggs can be frozen for decades. In countries like UK, it's the, according to the latest law, it says up to 55 years. But however, I would encourage women to check with their local clinics and the law to see how long they can freeze. In India, the ART law allows for a fertility treatment only till 50 years of age for the lady. So it's highly apt that a person considers using them before they turn 50. But however, one needs to remember that if I freeze for one day or one year or 10 years, the outcome for the oocytes will not change because the method of freezing which is called as vitrification is one of the best methods of freezing the gametes whether it's a sperm, egg or the embryo and has the best outcome with respect to retrieving the gametes back whenever we thaw it. So as long as the oocytes have been well maintained usually things should go smooth whenever it has to be thawed. We need to remember that egg freezing doesn't guarantee a future pregnancy, but however, it gives a good chance at achieving a future pregnancy. Success rate would depend on one, age at which the eggs were frozen, two, how many eggs were frozen. The higher the number of eggs, the better the outcome whenever it is used. And third, on the clinical expertise of the place where the eggs were frozen. It's extremely important to choose a place where there is extremely good skill with respect to freezing, which is vitrification and also thawing whenever they have to be used. On an average, about 10 to 15 eggs frozen at an age less than 35 years would give us a reasonably good chance of having a live birth when the eggs are used. The costing of egg freezing varies from country to country, clinic to clinic and within India also across different states and parts of India. At present, the costing principally includes the injections that patients take to you know, produce more eggs and of course the lab part wherein the eggs are aspirated and frozen. Usually the expenditure may come somewhere between 1.5 to 2.5 lakhs in Indian rupees for the whole cycle of egg freezing and of course the freezing amount, depending on how long the lady might want to freeze, there might be some variations in the cost. We need to remember that this is at present and going forward over years, things may change depending on inflation. Medical risks would include a condition called as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. It's an extremely rare condition at this point of time because we now know how to avoid it. The second important risk could be of bleeding and infection. Well, again, this is an extremely rare possibility or a complication. It can be easily avoided by skilled and you know safe doctors. There are a few other emotional risks. You see, creating a false hope of a surety from egg freezing is to be avoided. The egg freezing cycle can be very daunting on a woman, so it's important to have adequate you know emotional and support during the cycle of egg freezing. We need to remember that this is not an insurance policy. It's a probability and a choice and a possibility of a pregnancy and it's not a promise. So it's important to have realistic expectations out of an egg freezing cycle. But however, it gives a choice to a lady who wants to postpone her plans for pregnancy. Egg freezing or oocyte freezing as a procedure is rapidly expanding and is being provided as a service across fertility centers in India or reproductive medicine centers in India. Companies like Google, Apple and Facebook have provided it as a job perk to their employees. The best way forward is to be supported, centered across what matters the most for 
the person and yes if you're thinking about egg freezing it's best to seek out advice and meet a clinician right away to know your fertility health so that you feel more empowered in the decisions that you have to take